Hi, I'm Pat Rich with the production department here at Sorensen Media. Today we're going to walk through exporting directly from Final Cut Pro into Squeeze 6 or later. Exporting directly from Final Cut Pro cuts out the time-consuming step of exporting an uncompressed file just to re-encode it. This single-pass encoding also yields better quality, since it only compresses once. Also, with Squeeze Publishing presets, you can cut out the step of uploading your video to various sources like YouTube, FTP, and various CDNs like 360 as well as many others. Let's get started. With my project open and my sequence selected, I go to File, then Export using QuickTime Conversion. You can see that QuickTime Movie is automatically selected here in the format. Click here and change it to Squeeze. I also need to pick a suitable location for my file to save to. The desktop's fine for now. Now I need to choose a preset. I can do that by clicking the Options button here. This plugin will show you all the default and custom presets in Squeezed organized by output format. In this case, I want a high quality MP4 delivered to my Sorensen 360 account and to YouTube. So I choose MP4 as my output format and then my YouTube custom preset. If I go into Squeeze, I can see exactly what I'm getting with this preset by double-clicking it. It's 720p and a high data rate. These are my publishing settings here. Right now it's publishing to my Sorensen 360 account, which is included for a year with Squeeze, and my YouTube account. I also have it set to notify me when it's done so I don't have to sit around watching it. You can change these presets however you'd like by dragging publishing settings, filters, or notifications like so. But in order for these presets to show up in Final Cut Pro, you need to have Final Cut Pro closed while doing this or restart after you've made the changes. Going back to my project, I just hit start and my file will compress and be delivered as soon as it's done. If I skip ahead here, I can see that I got an email notifying me that my video is done. And here, in Sorensen 360, my video is ready and can be embedded on my site. And finally, my video has been uploaded to YouTube and transcoded and is ready to go. Save time, increase your final output quality, and publish to your destinations all without leaving Final Cut Pro with Sorensen Squeeze.